Welcome back to my channel, or should I say welcome back to me, to my channel. Alright guys, so we are back to filming vlogs. We're super excited about it, and today we are actually doing something super exciting. But first, I need to show you something awesome that we found in our backyard. It was this giant alien thing. You're gonna have to find out. Keep watching. Oh my god, you guys, we found the craziest thing right on our seawall. It's, it looks like an alien. We're gonna catch it right now, and we're gonna talk about it. All right, you guys, I got you it. You don't get it. Though. I got it. What? We do got you, it? Do you see that black thing right there? You guys, oh my god, look. Look at this. What is that? You guys, this is called a sea hare. Can you take him out of the water? It looks like a giant black slug. Okay, we're gonna take him out of the water for a couple seconds. Really quick. Oh my gosh, look at all his, he's doing all this, this sea slug stuff. All right, you guys, so quickly, cause he's out of the water. He is part of the mollusk family, which means snail, and he's a giant sea slug. So take a look at him. He's eating right now off the seawall. So cool. I don't want to keep him out of the water too long, so I'm gonna put him right back in. Oh my gosh, look at the ink. Ah, he's shooting ink. He just, he shot ink on me. Go wash your hands. So I guess the ink, what's it, what do they say about? It, it can kill dogs. Oh, we gotta get it off the... Whoa, look at, there's ink on my foot. My hands smell like butthole. Ew. <laughs> there he goes, he's going away. Bye, sea slug. Bye, sea slug. So, that thing shot ink at me, and apparently what it is is it's actually not ink. It's a byproduct of the food they eat. So they eat algae, right? These sea hares right here eat black and brown algae that is found locally. Some sea hares, like in Australia, are red because they eat red algae. So the ink they spray is a byproduct from the algae. And they use it as a defense mechanism as well. Super weird, awesome. I love sea hares. They're like one of my new favorite things right now. <laughs> Right now we are on our way to my friend's house. We actually have never met before, which makes it extra exciting. So, she also is a YouTuber and she lives in Florida and she has a little farm and we're going over to her farm and we're gonna meet all her animals and see all her pets. And she has two cows that she raised from babies. And little surprise here, we are thinking about rescuing two cows. I know I talked about it like last year. Um, we were thinking about it. So we're gonna talk to her about like the requirements of having a cow and you know, her, her daily routine with the cows and we're gonna see if it is a right fit for us. So that's one of the main reasons why we're over here, just to, you know, meet all our animals and, and say what's up. So this is my friend Stephanie. She also has a YouTube channel. I'll leave her link in the description down below. She also has a beautiful farm here in Florida. We actually met on Instagram and we connected through the animals, which I think is awesome. So today we are going to, to have you guys meet all of our pets. So let me introduce you guys to Stephanie. Hi guys. Um, so today Nicole and I are here and we are at our farm, well my farm. Um, <laughs> And so basically we've had the farm for a little bit over a year now. Um, before we owned it, we had a couple horses that we boarded. Um, but now we just love animals and we love whenever we'll go save animals. So here is our home where we get to have everybody that we want to save. It's beautiful. <laughs> so Stephanie has an epileptic dog, which um, she supported us through our journey with Callie. Uh, she also rescued two little beautiful <laughs> steers. Yes, steers. steers. Yes. Steer means uh, neutered male. Yes. The more you neutered, know. Neutered bull. <laughs> yeah. And she also has such a cute little mini pig. So we're going to show you guys all of her beautiful little pets. So let me introduce you to Stephanie's other half. He is right here. This is Mike. Um, we're engaged. We bought this house last year. Um, and this is our passion. This is what we love to do. Um, and we love to share it together. So I'm kind of the guy who is behind the scenes. I, I keep everything moving, uh, make sure everyone gets fed. Um, but yeah, I had, we share the exact same passion. We love making people happy and showing them the animals. Um, and I do, I love riding horses as well. And you know, we just kind of do our thing. Oh yeah, and he also has a YouTube channel. So <laughs> I will leave the YouTube channel right here. I'll also link it in the description down below. Yep. Mike lets me enjoy all my animals while he feeds them all. <laughs> 
<laughs> so this is Moose. Um, he's a dairy cow and we actually got him from, so basically everyone knows, you know, where you get your milk from. Cows have to have babies to get milk. So he is one of the ones that get produced from that. And we saved him from a dairy farm. Um, his name's, I don't know if I said this, but his name's Moose. Um, and he came to live with us when he was only five weeks old. We bottle fed him and he's just a big baby. He's so sweet. So you guys, we're thinking about getting cows and um, you know, they're very knowledgeable and we wanted to see firsthand about cows and pigs, etc. So let's go in and see the cows close up. They also have a little zebu who's so cute. All right, let's go. All right guys, so this is little Moosey. So we got Moose and he was only five weeks old. Um, he came from a dairy farm um, where they pretty much no longer need him. Um, when we got him, he was kind of sick. Um, they have something called scours and we treated that, but we were able to have the opportunity to bottle feed him and really create a good relationship with him. Um, so now he's like a big puppy dog. A friend who also had a little cow, which is our Zebu, and he wasn't, um, he wasn't the friendliest and he just needed another cow friend and our cow fr <laughs> our cow inspired them to actually have him come over and he um, now he lives with us and he's our second cow and Moose has definitely taken him under his wing and taught him how to be a nice good friend <laughs> to Moose. So this is the little Zebu. He's so cute. Hello. <laughs> So we've actually also rescued a Kilpan horse. Um, we got him a couple years ago. We were actually looking for a horse for Mike um, and we thought the best thing to do was to rescue a horse. Um, we went through some Facebook sites and found a Kilpan um, in Louisiana that we wanted to rescue him from. Um, it was a really long process. Um, bought him through this rescue in Louisiana and we got him um, trailered all the way down here to Florida. It was a long haul and when he got here, he was in rough shape. Um, but we love him. We have no expectations from him except to just love him and just learn from him. He's taught us a bunch about patience. open horses, patience, <laughs> ourselves, um, you know, and kind of what what really is important in a horse's life and what they go through um, just beyond being ridden. So this is Louis, who's right over here. He is the horse that was rescued, and um, he's so sweet. Oh my gosh! Look at these babies. They're just licking each other over here. They are so cute. Hit that like button if you guys think that we should get two little steers like them. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. This is Stephanie's five year old golden retriever and she actually has epilepsy so she gave me a lot of pointers when Kali was dealing with his seizures. So we have had Daisy since she is really really little. We actually got her a little bit younger than we probably should have. She's about five weeks but when she was nine months old she had her first seizure. Um, it's a, their cluster seizure so when she has them she keeps on going until they decide they want to stop. We've dealt with this now for about five years. Um, it's crazy living with a dog that has epilepsy um, but she's also she's taught us a lot. She's also on pills two times a day, which we can relate to because yes. Callie was on pills two times a day. And it's so hard because literally you have to, the pig in the background, <laughs> <laughs> you have to plan your days out, you know, yeah. from the morning to the evening. Will I be home? Do I have to come home? It was really hard when we were dealing with Callie with his seizures. So props yeah. to this girl right here because she's taking such a good care of Daisy. Yeah, it's crazy with the pills. Um, you know, like I was saying earlier, um, Sometimes we accidentally we can forget to give them to her um, and she may have a seizure or if we both accidentally give them to her, you know, we're just always on edge with the medicine and it's just a daily routine. It's hard. <laughs> it really is very hard. And so they also have some rescue dogs right over here. That's Lexi. Um, she's young. She's only two. We rescued her last year um, and I don't know much about her story, but She's a bundle of joy. <laughs> <laughs> Look how cute she is. Oh. So last but not least, we're going to talk about Penelope, who is a beautiful little pig. <laughs> Was she rescued too? Or? Um, no, she, yeah. she wasn't rescued. I did get her from somebody who could no longer take care of her. Um, so that's kind of that. Alright, let's go check out Penelope. So 
show you guys. This is Penelope, and she's so cute. <laughs> Look at her. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she is a year old, and they're not sure about the exact breed of her, but she is definitely a handful, and I think Stephanie might make a video about pigs on her channel, so be on the lookout for that in the future. <laughs> Yeah, blue. Let me touch that little nose. So don't get a pig. My advice to you. <laughs> don't poke the pig. Right. We're poking a pig over here. Did you get her this year? Um, no, I got her. Um, I was gonna say because this is the year of the pig. She's strong too. For a pig. <laughs> you, she fights us big time. Oh, she likes to get poked. Oh, she should have a Facebook account. I know. <laughs> Alright guys, so give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed Stephanie's beautiful farm. Thank you so much Thank for you. showing us around. I will leave her link to her channel and her fiance's channel in the description down below. Alright guys, family, so we just made it home. They live about an hour and 20 minutes away from us. And we had so much fun visiting them. I'm glad that we have some new friends who also like animals. Uh, so cute. I love their cows. Absolutely adorable. Right, Frankie? Frankie says, Mom, I wanted to meet those cows. Are you serious? Are you serious, Mom? You're way I don't, don't even put me on the camera, Mom. I wanted to see those cows. Hey! <laughs> alright, alright, alright. Frankie's hungry. Are you hungry, Bobby? Alright, Frankie. We're just waiting for your food to thaw out right now, alright? You have to wait a second. Oh, but I'll give you a piece of broccoli in the meantime, okay? Now, believe it or not, Frankie loves broccoli. We're waiting for his medallions to thaw. Would you like some broccoli? All right, first, give me a paw. Good boy. Hey, you didn't get it. Give me a paw. Good boy, Frankie. All right, here you go. Yep, and he'll eat it. He loves broccoli. All right, and then we walk outside. We have baby girl. Hi, baby girl. Hello. Hello, baby. Hi. Hello? You did it so good for the camera? Yeah, baby. Got two boys. Diaper boy over here. Jay and Jelly hanging out by the hot tub. Alright guys, so since I haven't been vlogging very often, you guys aren't very uh, caught up with our life and our plans. And that's fine because, you know, stay tuned for new content. But we're fixing up the barn and... Um, yeah, I didn't really go into a lot of detail in the beginning, but so our barn we've been painting as you can see I have like paint all over me. We're painting the inside of the barn white. It originally was orange um, So I'm super excited about that and we want to rescue two little cows like veal cows I would love to get like bottle fed bottle fed veal cows um, You know that are meant for veal that Sorry, gotta get a little aerial of Franklin, the way he lays. <laughs> aerial view! So yeah, we're just toying around with the idea, learning as much as we can um, before then. So yeah, stay tuned uh, for whatever we decide. I love you guys so much. Thanks so much for watching. Expect more vlogs. Um, you know, now that Callie has like gone over the Rainbow Bridge and stuff, it is a little bit easier to film. Um, so I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!